Okay, guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Wrestle Slam, the podcast brought to you probably by Manscaped.com. Do check out the 4.0 package, and we have a promo code as always, guys. It is Wrestle Slam. Yes, our own promo code. You will get a discount on all products via Manscaped.com. So, Manscaped.com, probably presenting and probably sponsoring the Wrestle Slam podcast, also the McCoke Casino, Cork City. I'm joined by Philip Conley, and yet again, Phil, it's been a great week. We were in. Uh, Nace for No Limits Wrestling last week, and we had a we had a great time. There was some great matches, but wasn't there? It's weird because it doesn't feel like it's a week ago. Right, time just go nowhere. But um, yeah, it was a great it's a great show. It's a great venue. Actually, it's the first time we've ever been there. Um, yeah, the venue is beautiful. It is beautiful, and I know the next one's going to be an over 18s event. So that's something like I I'd be drawn in to go into something like that. You know? Yeah. It's really good. Oh, yeah. By the way, by the way, I like the haircut, Phil. I'm lo- I'm loving the haircut. By the way, it's, it's yeah, it's, it's. I got kind of tired of the short hair. It's cut it. Yeah, it's good. No, without giving away any spoilers, we just have to mention you went to see Scream yesterday. Uh, the new Scream, and look, can you give us a rating out of five? What was your thoughts? Rating out of five, four. That's good. It's better than the one or two and a three. It's better than it's the second best one. That's all I'll say. Good stuff. And have they left the door open for another one to come, yeah? Oh, yeah. Big, yeah. Right. yeah. So for all you wrestling fans, go into screen across the world. Um, Check it out. Right, so look, we're going to go straight to SmackDown. And yet again, the headline is Cody Rose and Sami Zayn. They're standing tall over the bloodline. So what's your thoughts on this Cody stuff and Sami? Do you reckon the thoughts of a triple threat at WrestleMania out the window? Do you reckon Sami's going to be with Kevin Owens? Um, what's your thoughts on all that first of all? It's, do you know what I was thinking about yesterday? It's getting very repetitive. This yeah. thing. Um, how long are they going to drag this Kevin Owens a week before the show? You know what I mean? Like WrestleMania is what three weeks? Three weeks, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. So like, it's obviously they're doing Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn the tag match, but like, just kind of they're trying to do something that's not working. Yeah. Yeah. Like how what do you what do you make it? Because I think it's just not it's not it's, it's, it's what's the word for not engaging enough. Yeah, it just depends on like like the thoughts of first of all of, of Kevin Owens and, and Sammy winning tag team belts at Mania, it's it's decent, but I think it's the wrong time. I think personally I would love him to see Sammy in a triple threat with Roman and Cody. Um and if Cody wins, obviously he pins Sammy, so then Roman has the claim of like you've never pinned me in such and such, but yeah, I think um, like Sammy is still still top notch. He's still a hot product, you know. He's selling the merch. He's he's to me, he was over Cody a few weeks back. Yeah. Um, obviously lost to go match to Roman, but look, it's um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's losing momentum a small bit. Look, I know many is just around the corner. I know there's a lot happening, but I'd much prefer to see Sammy in that triple threat. And um, that's what I, that's what I'd rather see. I'd rather see Kevin and Sammy win the belts in, in the near future. But at, at this peak of Sammy's career, he's he's his his product is so hot. I think they need yeah, to, they need to the stick with that, is, you know. The thing is as well, the show, as I said, is very Sammy, so it's very hard to invest yeah. in Cody like Cody Rhodes. It's if it was me, I'd have Cody Rhodes lose uh, wrestling. He's just I don't feel it. I don't feel the Cody Rhodes train, I suppose. Yeah, it's I don't know. Like I, I do like Cody. Um, I like him as well. It's just I don't feel the momentum's there. If that makes sense. Yeah, like well, since he's come back, he's not lost. You know what I mean? It's um, like you know what I mean. He's obviously fought Rollins three times, three pay per views. He's won all the matches. Like it's, it's he's on a clean run, and I just don't know. Like I want to see Cody as champion, but I just don't know. I think I'd rather see Roman win at Mania. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's what I'd like to see and then maybe maybe Roman drops the belt then a few weeks afterwards because obviously he's got the uh, 1000 day thing and it's just upon us very and stuff. Close, um, yeah, it's very close yeah. yeah it's interesting but uh, it remains to be seen what will happen Um, and speaking of, of legends and, and WWE news uh, Rey Mysterio Phil, will be inducted into the Hall of Fame which is it was always going to happen he's probably one of the greatest of all time if not the greatest when it comes to the technical wrestling and, and ability in the ring but what's your thoughts on Mysterio being inducted to the Hall of Fame surely that could mean he's retiring there could be something there you know yeah there has to be something it's very weird timing 
Is is LA like a big deal to Ray or something? I don't know. Uh, I was trying to figure that out. Was LA a big deal to Ray? But like he's still on the active roster, so yeah. it's really really odd. Um, is this a sign that they can't get a big name? I don't know. Yeah, like he's what's Ray forty eight? Obviously, um, like he was actually born in California, like. Yeah, so LA, yeah, yeah, to yeah. So yeah, yeah, Cali. Maybe, maybe, maybe yeah. It. But the thing is, like, I'm not, I'm not a fan of somebody going into Hall of Fame who's still fighting. Yeah, it, it, it defeats the purpose, but he's just yeah, that, uh, he's that, he's that unique. You know what I mean? Obviously, look, there's talks he's going to fight Dominic, um, at Mania. Um, you know, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be hard at the same time because the Hall of Fame before Mania, like you can't have Dominic in the in the crowd crying if he's going to face his dad. Does he attack? Does he yeah. attack Ray a Hall of Fame? Do they do some sort of a camo? I don't think so because look, that's that's more of a serious event. Yeah, it's a bit cheeky, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but who inducts him then? Like, who, like in your opinion, obviously, look, there's the whole Eddie Guerrero thing, like Chavo. Who inducts Ray Corner, to the Hall of Fame? Corner? Yeah, I think so. I think they're bringing Conan, maybe. Yeah, I love if, Conan. Like, like I'd love to see him as well. And, yeah, I and think the fans. The, if if it wasn't Conan, if you were gonna pick someone from the the Raw SmackDown roster, who would you pick? It's hard, isn't it? Like it's who's probably, really... on the roster? Yeah. So no, in WWE and the way they speak, it'll be Chavo. Chavo, yeah, maybe Chavo. That that would make sense. The whole Guerrero kind of yeah. Mysterio connection. Uh, but or congratulations, Vicky, or Vicky, if she's around. Yeah, Vicky, Vicky would be brilliant. Um, that would be epic. Or even Dominic, even though they can't really do that, though, can they? Because no, not it's, really. No. Uh, it's if there's a match happening, they'll they'll, they'll break uh, KF. But um, congratulations to Rey Mysterio Hall of Fame inductee two thousand. Well over, it's well over two, but like I'd rather him be retired. Yeah, yeah. No, it's 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 interesting, you know. It's uh, it's well well over due though, and as you said, yeah, that'll be a great thing for all the fans heading to LA this year. As well, um, there's also talks, Phil, that uh, the great Muta is going to be set up for Hall of Fame as well. Good. It's just weird that he's never fought in WWE before. <laughs> he's never had a match in WWE. Um, and he should have. He should have. You know what yeah, I mean? That's one thing they could have done. You know, Dov Subu he had a lot of matches in 2000, early 2000. Um, yeah, it's it's probably deserved, but like. You're going to a WWE Hall of Fame and you've never had a match or anything with them. It's a weird one. Yeah. It's a weird one. It it's is, a weird one. It is. It is. They're trying to claim it. It's like that time uh, All Elite Wrestling done the the own the own heart, you know, tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously yeah. the wife was involved, you know, so that that makes sense. Um, just before we switch from WWE and go to All Elite Wrestling, we have to mention a lot of stuff about Alexa Blissville. Yeah, what's there's... going? On? What what is going on with Alexa Bliss? I just read there last night that she's on a hiatus until after WrestleMania. So who knows yeah. what that is? Uh, hopefully she's okay and not very serious. Yeah, like she's obviously um look she's she's a massive part of the roster. She's you know she's iconic when it comes to uh, I suppose the women's division. Is, you know, she's she's made history. She's done it all. Uh, she's been back and forth the last couple of months, you know, with title charges and stuff. But um. Yeah, I don't know. Look, it's. I hope Alexa Bliss is okay. She's a, a fan favorite here at Wrestle Slam, and hopefully she I, is okay. I just want to bring up one last thing as well. Just yeah, before we move on from WWE, um, what you make of this John Cena promo? Because I thought it was horrible. Yeah, it was. It was. Um, uh, it didn't do fa- any favors at all for Terry. No, it backfired really, didn't it? Yeah. Um. It just makes you wonder, like, you know, like, obviously, seeing his back, he's, um, he'll always be grateful to Vince for what Vince done for him and Steph. So I think, you know what I mean? He's one of these guys that will, he'll always be floating about. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. It was cringy, wasn't it? The stuff he said was really, really, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. It was, even with the, um, I suppose, the ball patch and this and that. Like, you know what I mean? It's, um, yeah, and talking about the piped in audio and all that shit. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, I don't know. Like, I'm looking forward to seeing seeing that man, yeah, if it happens. I believe it's going to happen, it obviously. Is, it is going to happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, um, obviously, we didn't get it. I think like, for the build-up to WrestleMania, these Raws aren't particularly good. No, they're not, and they should be explosive. If you remember the 90s and the early 90s, like, Jesus Christ, they were, they'd leave you on a cliffhanger. Some of them, some of them Raws and the SmackDowns were better than the actual Mania themselves, you know? Exactly, yeah, exactly. Sometimes it's the whole build up, the whole build up to a lot of stuff. I'm not happy with a lot of it. Yeah, no, it's different. It is different, but uh, it remains to be seen. 
if Cena will stick around after Mania, does he get the win? Who knows? No, I don't suppose he he can't win the win the US belt surely at this this uh this time. We just don't know. You don't know. We'll have to look at his schedule. See what There's his one more is. WWE news. Uh, Bad Bunny host backlash. Yeah, oh. I'm all for that though. I think look, if they're gonna bring an outsider in, then he's good. You know, he had some good matches. You know, he good good pops. He's well liked, yeah. well respected by the crew, the staff. You know, the the roster. Yeah, I'm all for Bad Bunny. I I, I don't listen to his tunes, but look, he's one of them guys that made an impact when he came in. You know. Um, yeah, he was very good. He really was. Obviously sticking around. Yeah. Um, so we'll switch quickly to Wally Phil. Uh, MGF obviously won the 60 minute iron match. Yeah. Uh, obviously it was uh extended due to the draw, which was genius. But obviously, look, 4 3 to uh MGF. What was your thoughts on that, my man? Best match in AEW history, I'd say. Yeah, it was, it was yeah. good. And uh, MGF was that MGF can bang, he's good, like. The only, yeah, he's very good, but the only thing is he shouldn't have thrown that drink at that kid. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of watered down the match, I suppose. Uh, but uh, we found out afterwards there was alcohol in the drink. Yeah, I suppose he wasn't to know though, was he? I don't think so, but like he, even then, like you shouldn't throw stuff at kids. It's just bad, bad press. His, his character is it's crazy, isn't it? Even when you see he does the meet and greets and stuff, and um, wasn't there a guy that gave him a painting? Oh, yeah, he to to sign he, yeah. he wrote fuck you on the paint and your man spent like your man spent months doing it like you know. Yeah. Um yeah, no the match, the match itself. Look, is it up there with some of the best matches in all of wrestling? Oh, yeah, it's like one of the best matches in the last ten years. Yeah. And, uh, and, the um, was very good. It really was. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Daniel Sinatra was that? Daniel that's he's going home. So yeah, he's he taking a break for a few break. weeks. Yeah. yeah. He took a break for a few weeks. There's yeah. a bit of AEW news, I suppose. There's Wardlow has car broken into, yeah, um, which was kind of mad. And I'm yeah. wondering now is it a storyline because they're saying I saw yesterday something about they're going to reveal who it was. Yeah, well, obviously he beat uh Samoa Joe, became the new TNT champion, and then lost um, the Hobbs on Dynamite, which is really weird, 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 weird booking. Very strange. Um, obviously, Hangman Page defeated Moxley by submission. The Texas Death Match, good match. That good, good twenty odd minutes in that match. A lot of people really did like this match. Yeah, it uh, was violent and it was unnecessary blood. Uh, was. With a well, that's Moxley. Blood. Yeah, that's, he, needs that's stop, Mox. he needs to stop all this stuff. He does. Uh, were you surprised that uh, Jamie Heather retained her title? I think you actually wanted that to happen, Phil. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I think it's better that she retains. And yeah, she should lose it for a while. Yeah. Um, looks like they're building up to a blood and gut women's match. Uh, yeah. Ruby, Ruby Soho turns heel and joins, joins the faction. So we'll see where this goes. Definitely. Well, it's good I'm to see assume, Ruby get a push. I'm assuming this is going to lead to, um, what's her name again? Tonda Rosa returning. Yeah, she's on the brink of something anyway because she's, she's not been seen a while, but she's surely, she's surely back in due course, you know? Yeah, there's been a lot of weird stuff in AEW though in the last few weeks. There yeah. is. It's like they're trying to tidy up the mess, really, isn't it? Yeah, like the elite losing the belts. Very strange. Yeah, yeah it's... Um, yeah, Tony Khan is kind of under a bit of stress, I think. He is, he is. But look, he's got, a, he's got a great roster. He just needs to figure out how to use it, you know what I mean? Like, you look at the House of Black there, obviously defeating the elite. Um, the match is Six man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, great match. And look, I, I'm Malachi Black, Jesus Christ, one of the greatest guys in the business. Buddy Matthews, you know, Brody King, absolutely adore him. Um, interesting. Obviously, Jungle Boy defeated uh, Christian Cage, final burial match. Uh, Ricky Starks defeated Jericho. Obviously, the Jericho appreciation and the side of me were banned from the ring. Mm. Briscoe, the Lucia Brothers, um, defeated um, yeah. Ferry and obviously Tony and Josh. Um, but yeah, it, it was. It was a decent pay per view film. Do you think? Oh, it, it was. It's very better. good compared to what they were doing on TV because their TV show is abysmal. Yeah, no, the air, the air. Jesus Christ, they need to get their shit together. Like they need to kind of bring someone, really, don't they? Like obviously, look, we know what Jim Ross done over the years, but maybe, maybe Jim Ross could kind of get in, get in, get into it, maybe a bit more. You know, maybe they should. Obviously, he's on commentary, but could Jim Ross maybe help out the back with storylines and and you know tidying shit up? Like, or is he just passed it? I think he's what age is he? Seventy. Seventy, yeah. Yeah, they need. 
it's very difficult because all these guys are all ancient. Well, they want to use, I don't like using the word ancient. They're old. Yeah, the yeah. point. So yeah. you, you need fresh, fresh ideas. Yeah. And but, not Hollywood guys. Uh, would well, Jerick will be one. Yeah. Yeah. Creatively, he's good, like, you know what I mean? We know he's 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 really he's a god on the commentary desk as well. But wonder if, if Jericho stepped aside and done some storylines and got some shit together, yeah. right? Yeah. He'd have the respect from the fans, wouldn't he? Yeah, and the boys as well. Yeah. That's the big one, like, because if the booker you're not respected, the booker's not respected, that's it. Like and yeah. the only respect Tony can is because they're he's paying their bills. Yeah. But you ever see I oh, know I'm changing the subject, you ever see Jericho going back to to WWE? Uh, never say never, but he said the other day, no, yeah, he actually yeah. said in an interview with I don't know who it was with, but he said no, no, yeah, yeah. that's that's that. Maybe, maybe he won't, but um, yeah, like as you say, a revolution look, uh, good pay per view out of a five, uh, Phil Conley, what eight, would you give eight, it? Eight, 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 it was pretty good, like it was really good, like Stark's beat Jericho on that, which is his biggest victory, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. I, I quite liked that one. And I, and I wasn't sure what to expect because the shows have been shit. Yeah, they have been, but it did it did um it did kind of do well, to be fair. You know what I mean? Look I there now, did... right? Keith Lee, I don't know what's going on there. That's the, that's depressing to see that, to be honest. How did they drop the ball with him though, like? He look he even looks different. Grey yeah. hair, a weird jacket. I don't think he's actually fucking grey, is he? He is, yeah. That's his grey hair. Yeah. Is he really grey? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dying a lot of lunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't say much myself, but anyway, look. <laughs> um, we have to get Just For Men to sponsor our shows as well. Uh, so Just For Men, if you're watching, we've got a lot of great people on there, the Wrestle Sam podcast. If you want to send us some medium brown, dark brown, black hair dye, we would be more than welcome to promote. Um, so yeah, so Revolution 2023 has come to an end. Some good matches there, and yet again, um, an interesting pay per view. It, it it did live up to expectations, although the, the lead up was fairly shit. Though so we're gonna touch base quickly. Um, Phil OTT. Yeah. It is next week, and yeah, uh, there's been some week. great matches announced. Obviously, we know Santino Morella's there. Um, Eddie Kingston. You have Pac. Um, obviously, the match everyone's talking about though is uh, Debbie Cartel versus Seshmart Martina. Yeah, finally, I think Seshmart's going to take it. Finally, um, it's been a while since she's had that belt. Uh, it's been yeah, it's it's been a while, and look, obviously Debbie, Debbie's iconic. Um, she's had it for has she's had that for a good few months now. Yeah, I yeah, think she won it. In March was it? March yeah. two, yeah, March twelfth, two thousand and twenty-two. She defeated uh, Emerson Jane. Um. Debbie, Debbie's iconic. Look, obviously voted in the top one fifty in the world. Yeah. Um, go goes from strength to strength, and obviously scrap a mania Paddy's weekend next week at the National Stadium Dublin will be incredible. So you reckon Seth Smart walks away with that one? You reckon she is going to be crowned champ again? Yeah. Yeah. I, I love think it. I think they then and then I think uh, that she might turn heel later in the year. Yeah. Um, be interesting. I'm looking forward to it. It should be, you know, it's all it's always a great time at the National Stadium. Um, it it is, and you look you look at that history. I was just going to go into the history. The first ever champion was uh Seshmot Martina, so she won that back in 2016. She held it for 50 days. Um, obviously, Katie Harvey was the second champion. Then Martina won it again. Um. Yeah, Raven Creed's been a champion. Valkyrie, Kelly Harvey's a two time. So, yeah, Kelly Harvey's actually a two time OTT Women's Champion. She was on fire for sure. You remember when we interviewed her there about five, six years ago? Kelly Harvey, is it? Yeah. She was. Yeah, yeah, she's one of our first. That was actually, I think that was seven years ago, maybe. Seven years ago, geez. Yeah, that was one of the first ones. That was the first time I actually met you. Yeah. Mad. Which is, which is mad, Kelly Harvey. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, Iconic, yeah. She's she's a legend and she's still active. You know what I mean. She's had some some bad injuries, but look, she's definitely the queen of uh, of Irish wrestling. There's no doubt about it. And she's doing a great job at Fight Factory as well. They just announced yesterday, didn't they? That pack, yeah, they, they announced a four way for pack. Yeah. Um, yeah. should be a good one. Always a good one when it comes to OTT. Um, so I think there's only a small few tickets left for that. So make sure you grab your tickets at Eventbrite.ie OTT Scrapamania. It is next week, Paddy's weekend, the National Stadium Dublin. Um, I think we Saturday might see, night. I might think. I think we might see a new world champion at that show as well. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy D. Yeah, 
Yeah, he's on a bit of momentum at the moment. And look, we were like we were obviously with these guys last week in um at No Limits Wrestling. And um yeah, yeah, I think there's gonna be a lot of title changes. A lot's gonna happen, and I reckon you might get one or two more surprises out there as well. Yeah. Just you know, Eddie Kingston and Van Park are huge and Santino Morella, but I reckon you might get one more surprise as well. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Don't forget as well, guys. Good Friday, April. Um, as you say, RCW returns to the Kino Cork as well. Do grab your tickets ASAP. They are limited due to demand. So RCW returns Good Friday and make sure you get your tickets for that as well. Anything else that we need to cover, Phil? Uh, just a qu- quick uh, thing on Impact. Impact, keep the roll up. They've been doing well. Um, they have. They have. We, we, should, they we, have... Should, we should have a few more guests on from them actually soon. Yeah, we'll have someone on next week anyway, definitely. And we'll yeah. try and get the whole team on for that. Um, but yeah, impact are incredible. Like, and I know there's a lot of stuff there. Obviously, sacrifice. Um, that'll be happening uh, towards the end of March, the 24th. Two time, yeah, Two yeah six, six man tag announced Alexander, Rich Swan, and uh, Frankie versus the machine. That'll be um, well, time machine. Sorry, that'll be a great machine. match. Better, yeah. Mickey, Mickey James, obviously, she's um, what the talks you might fight, uh, Gazelle Shaw. Um, obviously, Bully Ray. We've mentioned Bully Ray a lot. First ever, first ever uh, busted open match, but it's just a first blood match. Like, it's just no, yeah, yeah. No and obviously, us, yeah, obviously, announced as well. Uh, Tia Valkyrie, she's obviously dominant in Pat Wrestling, so she's yeah, that, obviously... that, that, that's a strange one because yeah, she like must team champions, yeah, there must be something there. I think it's legit as well. Like, I don't think it's actually oh, I think her that. time is just contracts just off, like. Yeah, she's but the problem with impact, and I love impact, but I know they don't have much money. If you ask for, if you ask for any sort of like um, raise, yeah, they, they won't. just don't have it. They don't have it yet. They don't, they have, don't it. have it. But yet again, guys, that is the roundup for uh, this week's Wrestle Slam podcast, brought to you probably by Manscaped.com and of course the Macau Casino Cox City. Don't forget, if you are a hardcore wrestling fan, you can watch Raw and SmackDown live every week at the Macau Casino Cox. Obviously, WrestleMania Night 1 and Night 2 will be shown there live as well. And uh, as I said, get your tickets for RCW, for OTT, for No Limit Wrestling, uh, for Hard Knocks, uh, for Fight Factory, and much more. Support Irish Wrestling and get behind all the crew there. There's amazing shows every week. And I promise you, you will see some of the greatest matches of all time. I don't mean just in, in, in Ireland. I mean in world wrestling. Yeah. We've seen matches over the years, and they've been you know some of the greatest matches you could ever see. Better than any match you'd see on you know all elite wwe so do support them um and yet again we'll have more interviews next week we also have um charity crew that interview will go as well guys it'll be on the next day or two that was done there a few days back so we'll have that out there in a few days as well but until then from myself jerry Collin, and from phil Connolly, thank you for supporting our show hope you like a new intro by the way a new intro is pretty cool that was done last week and uh, we'll see you next week guys be safe god bless and have a good one